TLO, what's poppin'? We are on kick, K I C K dot com. We are live. You can come join us if you want. If not, that's cool. Just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK. Um, yeah, this right here. If you miss a live, this is where the highlights will be and things of that nature. Uh, we also got the Patreon. That's where, if it doesn't make it to YouTube, it goes on Patreon. I mean, if it can't be seen on YouTube, it goes on Patreon. Like Louis Thorax. Well, actually, Louis Louis Thorax, I put it on um, Kick. Not Kick. I put it on Rumble. So we watch Louis Thorax on Kick, and then I put it on Rumble. So if anybody wants to check it out, Rumble, the lit one. Same as everywhere else. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I've only seen one episode of of Louis Storax, and that was the one we watched yesterday. Um, yeah, we got merch, and we got the Discord. Everything, the links to everything is down below inside the link tree link. Click it, and it opens up everything. This is Traffic Cops, episode 12. I mean, season 12, episode 20. I don't know what it is, man. They ain't been putting many um, police interceptors or, or traffic cops on the net no more. This is rare that I found this one. I've been looking all week. God damn. Well, I guess this one. Yo. Gotta take it. Emergency. Warning markers for firearms. Get on the ground. Rock it in, rock it in, rock it in. He's now off in the field. Derbyshire's traffic cops. Whoa. Suspect. Yes, a vanished. Oh, what? High street. You do. And streets. Remember, have got any Oscar Tango units, please, that can start making the way uh, M1 northbound AMPR hits? Uh, yes, yes. Be aware, we've had a stolen vehicle hit the AMPR camera southbound on the motorway. Oh, safe, thanks. Traffic cops like Dan Mitchell face the dangers of dealing with runaway drivers every day. They'll take whatever risks they I don't know what just happened here. to them to avoid us stopping them and, and to avoid capture. A stolen vehicle's been sighted. At the minute, it's just hitting up on the border, but on not side. Dan's in an unmarked car, travelling east of Derby, near the Nottinghamshire county line. I'm just going to get down there and try and plot up, just see if it comes Kind of unmarked this, Dan. That might nice. And hopefully we'll be in a position to get it stopped, see if we can get someone's pride and joy back. This car has been involved in local burglaries. We've got two units allocated to it. They're en route. Up ahead, Sergeant Scott Riley is also responding, along with a number of other traffic cars. That stolen car we're looking for is just activated a traffic camera. When somebody's got their hands on a stolen car, they're going to be driving it dangerously, they're going to be driving it at speed, and if the police get behind them, then they're going to take all manner of risk to evade capture. I think Scott's going to get behind it first if it comes back onto Derbyshire. They're very close. I don't know if it's a lead by flying to the Austin. The, the stolen Astra is spotted parked Damn. up ahead. Come on. Opportunities like that don't come often. If it's not moving, we need to catch them off guard. Scott and a second traffic car are coming up on it from both directions. Yes, yes, block it in, block it in, block it in, block it in. Damn. Damn. <laughs> ah, they ain't left, bro. Hey, they ain't bogus for leaving their glands, but hey, you had to pee. Now you're going to jail, buddy. Pain. Scott heads off after the Astra. Stand by. With two units now on its tail, a third quickly joins the chase. Go yeah, I've currently got a vehicle failing to stop. We are back towards Derbyshire. The speed is 5 0 in a 3 0. 50 in a 30. 
Yes, yes. Can I have the uh, empath, please? This person is high risk. This person is going to do anything within their power to get away from us. Can I have a stinger location, please? Stinger at this time is authorised. Please ensure you remember your hard cover. All right. We're very close. Yeah, from 4 1. I'm just coming onto the road now, so I might be able to get a sight set up. Yeah, just up here. The DRAs are low at this time, and we are now at that bed. Top front unit, uh, not involved in feedback unless necessary, as uh, safe as possible, or rear car. Make sure you are get caught, you quiet. Got one lot one at the roundabout. Through reds, DRAs are medium. Yeah, he's done me. <laughs> Somebody got your bubble. No, my bad. My bad. Got him though. That was clean. Yeah, he's done me. Somebody go. Please, he's done me. It's too late to use the stinger. I know he mad as hell. He was got them. He done me. Somebody please help. <laughs> so Dan gets behind the getaway car. Lane two. Right the Astra's all guns blazing, he's, he's going. He's managed to lose Scott, so I'm now the lead car. Tango 4 1. You got two it's left. Pursuit. The uh, dog unit has been requested, they're making their way towards you now. The driving isn't particularly quick, 50, 60 miles an hour, but he's weaving. He's weaving from left to right. Yeah, yeah. Smart vehicle wants to come past me and take over. Attention. As the driver tries to escape, Dan gets ahead. With three cars in position, they attempt to box in the suspect. Is he on the wrong side of traffic? Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. No, right? Near side, near side. Okay, take it steady. Right, let's settle him in lane four. Let's settle him in four. Settle him in four. Okay, settle him in one. Settle him in one, that's it, bring it down, bring it down. I think they'd be, they'd be scared to get their car hit. Like, bro, that ain't your car, go ahead, settle them. And they trying to get a box on there, still in lane one. That's it team, bring it down, wrap around, wrap around, slow, slow. He doesn't want to stop, and he won't stop for any measure. He's just going to try everything now to get away. His cards are on the table, basically. Mm -hmm. Right, it's off, it's off, it's off. Now he got just one, right? Sure, right, I'll get him. He's going to decamp. Just watch for decamp. Committed, committed. Yeah, stand by for a decamp. He's going back on. He's abandoning in bushes. Decamp, decamp. Get the dog there, send your vehicle, get the dog out here. Yeah. Ah, well, that dog is on your ass, buddy. It might be over with. <laughs> That's his on room. Send the vehicle, dog. Dog look like it's biting stuff yeah, immediately. Send the Coming up. I can't get to the car, it's the bushes, so he might not have got out. The search is on for the runaway driver. Yeah. Scott, where are you? We are deep in the woods. How about your Yeah, I've currently got a vehicle failing to stop. Twelve miles east of Derby, traffic cops Scott Riley and Dan Mitchell are pursuing a stolen car. Yeah, it's gone for somebody else, please. It's me. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Stay with me, Dan. Near side, near side. Right, it's off, it's off, it's yeah, off. Yeah, across the grass, back onto the main carriageway. That vehicle's just gone full speed, gone straight down the, the bank and through the grass. And all of a sudden, he's driving through a jungle of grass and it buried itself into the foliage. Yeah, the dog's there, send your vehicle, get the dog out, and pass his on route. Stay the vehicle, stay the vehicle. I can't go to the car. It's over with. You got a dog, you got the whole force. You got the helicopter, it's done for. We might not have got out. I've not seen any doors open. I don't know how many people are in the vehicle, but I can't even get in it. I can't see how they've opened any of the doors. The only way I can check that it's clear is by opening the boot and going through the boot. One's got out, I've seen him cross over the road into these trees. 
I still don't know how I managed to get out of that car. It's crossed over the it's crossed over the slip. It's on the other side. While Scott checks the Astra, Dan is trying to work out where the driver might have run to. Oh, so the car's over the there. driver again, little longer. Trying to get back on again. We've come off up there. So he is going to be round here somewhere. A dog tracks the runaway driver's scent. There's a bit of a walk. That dog bite hard too. That's the good German Shepherd. Way in here, mate. See if that see if that's accessible. Seems to be trodden. He's definitely gone over this fence that I'm held by. Because uh, the dog's desperate to climb over. I can't let him go because I don't know how deep the road is and pond or anything. With the helicopter above, Scott heads in through the thick undergrowth. The chopper don't. The chopper gonna see him either. Just let you know what we're doing. My uh, colleagues on the camera with the thermal searching around where you are around that pond nearer to the car. I'm having a good look around. He got escape artists equipped. What? With a night sun and night vision goggles in further afield. I don't know if it's a fishing lake or if it's just like a a bog. So it looks absolutely horrific. If you go down here. Four eight four five. We are deep in the woods, heading out towards the water line. We are struggling to see you, um, so we're just trying to do some orbits. Um, it's very, very thick in there, so just bear with us. After 45 minutes of searching, the runaway driver is still hiding out. Empire's 5 four. we might have, we've got a heat source right at the edge. Damn. 45 minutes, they caught him on the, at, the, at the hour mark. He was almost had the water. It. Yeah, there's not a lot of movement. Um, I'll just tell you what we've got on the pictures. We've got a heat source. It's round, uh, and then we've got a smaller heat source around it. Uh, our interpretation, possibly a head sticking out of the water and the body uh, in the water. Uh, the heat source looks as though it's like a circle, so we need to try and get down there. He, might, he may have injured himself or something like that, or he's just... He's just lying low until we decide to call it a day. Any officers that approach are just a bit concerned if this is a person in the water that they're, that, that, that they're OK. No, the water's there, mate. Yeah. Scott, where are you? Scott! Go in to your right! OK, officer coming in from the... Uh, you've been near enough on top of this heat source. Uh, I could just see you coming through the trees now. Slightly to your left. So Scott's right on the edge of the water now, right? Man, what you doing? Get down there, big boy. Go ahead. He like, nah, I'm going to sit this one out, buddy. <laughs> ah, that'd be me. I ain't going to hold you. Close to the heat source, so he's gone cross-country from the other side. And Pastor just guiding him in. We can't give up getting to this heat source, whether it is or it isn't a person, because if it isn't, he could have fallen over and he can be in a lot of trouble. Slightly to your left, slightly to your left. He's only about three paces in front of it, is it? Just be careful, you're going to come to the water in a minute. Clear the air, clear the air, I can see him. Oh, we can see him. We can see him. The helicopter says, right, you're there. And straight away. The helicopter is almost undefeated. I, I've seen that helicopter get defeated like one or two times out of a hundred and something, hundred plus. 200. Yeah, I can just see him submerged in water, but I thought it would add. Your heart stops think this is real now. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. And if oh, he's injured. a criminal that's just used all their efforts to get away from you is asking for help, and then you know that they've got themselves into a situation. So you got him? Yes, yes, I'm good. I want to tell you. Four, you got three units on You're not going to die. Be gentle with him, be gentle with him. How deep is the water? What do you mean, die? What do you mean, unalive? Not that deep. Yes, yes, don't say. Yeah, I'll keep going. I'm not shoveling, mate. No, 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 we're helping you, mate. Mate, let's sort everything out. Yeah. Oh, is, he, is he shivering? It must be cold. Oh, 
All the energy and all the fight has been taken out of him. He's almost drowned. We need to get him back out where we can get him medical assistance. He almost drowned. That's tough. Imagine running from the cops, taking him on a high-speed chase, then a foot pursuit for 45 minutes, then almost drowning. And pleading for help. Oh, man, he throwing a water in that thing. Requested an ambulance. I don't think I've ever seen anybody throw up so much water. You know, you, you could tell he's not faking it. He's very nearly drowned. Another 15 minutes, it would have been too late. We've got the team water up now, uh, um, so we're all in the ambulance. The work that the helicopter did, yeah. they've saved his they life. They've saved a life! Yes, well done, troops, well done. Sorry about speed. Sorry. Like, the water, I feel like he could have just stood up and been cool. But, like, I guess he didn't know he was disorientated. He ain't know what was going on. They managed to get him out. Yes, yes, and, uh, it's just a case of getting him back out on onto, the, uh, onto the road now. The risks that these people are willing to take. If you see the chat on the screen, it's not, no, it's not, it'll come off when I take it off. It's for YouTube. Hey, sorry. Please capture. I've seen people jump over fences and break their legs. I've seen people jump from heights that you just wouldn't entertain. And I've seen people go through foliage like we've seen tonight, getting cut to ribbons that we just wouldn't entertain because... And now you've seen someone almost drown. That's crazy. I want to go home to my family pretty much uninjured. Their need to get away from us will always be greater than our need to catch them. Do you want me to get you a blanket as well, Sergeant? No, I'm all right. It don't be seeming like it, because y'all be having some tryhards in the uniform. Oh, you're all right. No, I'm all right. I'm only damp from, from there down. Are we coming off? How many tadpoles are you going? Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Not even fun. Oh, dear. One stolen car, no damage to our cars, and one locked up. After a game of hide and seek. Very good. What happened to the ambulance? Ripley outskirts. That's just a sweet puzzle. Yes, that's on stuff. There are many reasons people try to get away from the cops, whether they are car thieves, wanted criminals, or even drink drivers. Having put on a dry pair of boots, Scott's now responding to a report of another runaway driver. He's still on, on shift? I ain't even gonna lie to you. After that, I would have been done. I would have, yeah, I'm gonna call it a night, fellas. <laughs> So, report of an abandoned car, which it looks like we've just found. Um, in a Fort Seal Ripley. And there we have it. Hmm. An A tango so far. Yeah, I'm with your car. You can run it for us, please. Yeah, we've run it through. It's um, we're back to an address in Alfreton. Strangely insured to Dundee. How very strange. Hello. Hello. Do you know anything about this car that's crashed on the road outside? Oh, yeah. It was about half past one, and I heard a bang. Yeah. Got no more of it. And this young lad and his girl come in. So they've come in. How long ago? Um, probably half an hour. Half an hour. Oh, right. Yeah, if you've got one, that'd be great. Yeah. Show you what yeah, yeah. Have on. you got it on now? She's yeah. very helpful. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, do you want one for the? Ah, can we can we have a still of that? It's quite distinct, isn't it? Yeah. Let's take a photo of him. Just want to see if I can get him coming in. Uh, trying to come in. Potentially got them coming in on CCTV next door. Did they not say anything then about no, it? Nothing. We're going to have a quick look. <laughs> We're going to get the uh, the car recovered anyway. Okay, thank you. Bye. I'm going to do an area search, see if I can find them. 
there's only one reason you do that to your car and, and go off, and that's because you're drunk or drugged. Definitely. We'll see if we can find him. Definitely drunk. It was not. Nah, just leave it. Now, oh. hold on a minute. He's at that curb. You can see it. Yeah, so there we go. Look at the damage on the curb there. So they've come round that corner too fast, hit this curb, and then it's just their momentum and the sort of end of the accident that's taken them down there to bring them to a rest. It's quarter past three in the morning. It's probably the right sort of time for somebody to be... They're probably home. They? Absolutely drunk. Uh, crashed the car and now I'm walking out. So we'll just see if we can pick them up. Do y'all not got Uber? Like I would have instantly called an Uber. Walking out. I would, first of all, I don't drink and drive, and I don't suggest you do that either. Um, you know, I don't promote that type of foolery, but I would have called an Uber. Come over here. You. you. Come over here, mate. Right. Come over here. Oh, yeah, that's him. Hey, buddy. What can you tell me about your car, really? About my what? Your car. I don't drive, mate. You haven't got a car? No. I've not got a license. At all? No, mate. I'm, I'm on provisional, bro. You're provisional, are you? I don't drive at all, mate. So you've not been in a car at all? Never. Hey, it's here all. Can I have a 10 15 person check, please? So you don't own a car? I don't own a car whatsoever, mate. Okay. This is inconvenient for me, mate. Sorry, what are you keeping me for? Am I detained? You are at the minute, yeah. I'm not very impressed, to be honest. Yeah, 24 hours. <laughs> yeah. You got any car keys on you? No. No, anything else? Can I search you? Yeah, of course you can. All right. Listen, I'm not very impressed at the moment. Bro, who cares if you're impressed? What are you talking Car keys, immediately mm. found. Is that car keys? They're not mine. They're I've my just, mates. Well, I've just found them in your pocket. They're my mates. All right. Come over here with me. Yeah? Because I believe you've been driving a motor vehicle, whilst under the influence of alcohol... Uh, you might as well put that away, mate. I require you to provide me a specimen of breath for the purpose of analysis. Um, definitely not, because I've not okay. been driving. Do you agree to give me a specimen definitely of your breath? Definitely not. OK. Who am I? So, so, what are you... What is this? Un I've got a good... Okay. Will you provide me a specimen of... I definitely... You said no. Okay. Can I give you a mark off the board? You're under arrest, though. You're under arrest for failing to provide a specimen of breath. You do not have to say anything, but I may harm say not mention my question. Something which later on in court. All right, mate? Yeah, mate, yeah. Okay. Understand why you've been arrested, buddy? No, mate. <laughs> you grab a seat in there. Definitely not. Coming up. Nice. The cop on the wall. In Ripley, Derbyshire, Sergeant Scott Riley has found the suspected runaway driver of a crashed Seat. What can you tell me about your car, really? I don't drive, me. The He's scummy too. He drunk, drunk, overly. And claims to know nothing about the accident, but he's taken back to Ripley Police Station. What's that booger. Key evidence. That's what that is. Yeah, really nice. Get your driving license no, off mate. here. Well, I'm going to get it anyway. Listen, listen. Right? You can make this easy, or you can make it difficult. Make All it right? easy? I was yes. walking in from this shop. Well, listen, listen. Right? My job is to make you safe whilst you're here. Listen, mate. I can't do... I'm not your mate. Listen, listen right? Mate. Listen. I can't do that. I don't know who you are. From the shop. Like I say, I'm independent from this again. I don't care. OK? So, the vehicle that's been involved in the collision is registered at this gentleman's address. This gentleman's got a key for the SEAT on his person. I've asked him to Which provide a... Which was my friend's key? I've asked him to provide a specimen of the breath and has refused to do so. Therefore, he's been arrested, uh, failing to provide a specimen of the breath on the approved machine. You see he had the keys on it? Yes, it did, yes. I'm sorry, mate, but you wasted my time, so I'm wasting your time. I'm not wasting my time. I'm getting pissed at 7 o'clock. You're saying you're right. <laughs> I'm wasting time, you're not even working. 
What are the injuries and illnesses that you've got? My leg. What's wrong with your leg? Arthritis. Arthritis, any other parts of your body? Yeah. My ear. Which ear? My left ear. That's your right. Yeah, well then. Well, My left ear. Well, that's your right ear, though. My left This dude's an idiot. Yeah, clear. It's over with your clock. It's done for. You're done. You get me. Why did you have the keys in your pocket, though? If you knew what you had did, the police going to stop you first because they know what you, you know, you, have, you went to a gas station, CCTV, they got you. You should have upped the keys left to somebody foot. else. Yeah. I, I said, that right. my left ear, L-E-F-T-E-A-R. Yeah. Left ear. Anywhere else? Yeah, Where? my right ear. Both ears. And my nose. And your nose. Yeah. Anywhere else? Yeah. Yeah. Right. My eyeball. Are you taking any tablets or medication? Yeah. What are you taking? Cocaine. Yeah. Any others? Yeah. LSD. Yeah. Heroin. Crack. Cocaine. Yeah. 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 Weed. Yeah. 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 Um, hey. DMA, yeah. Acid, yeah. Um, MCAT, yeah. Um, are you jotting them down? No, because they're not tablets or medication, are they? Yeah, they are. Yeah. The drugs. Yeah, they are. That in a bit. Are you taking any tablets or medication? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you taking? Drugs. Oh, Rose Wigan. Right, follow the coin. This way. He was absolutely paralytic and he's out driving a car with no driving license, no insurance. He's come off the road on a corner that's not really a corner to the extent where the wheel. Yeah, dude is overly hammered. He's been uh, pulled off from the car. It's a fatal accident waiting to happen. He could have killed somebody. Now he's in one of our cells sobering up. Um, he's made it easy for us, he's failed to provide it. That's an absolute offence itself. And yes, he was a very entertaining chap. Derby, city centre. We're going on the ring road towards Stanton Road. Traffic cop Dan Mitchell is nearing the end of a night shift. Yeah, for information, the uh, driver in this vehicle suspected to be over the limit, drink driving, possibly under the influence of drugs. Possible drink driver that got reported a couple of hours ago, uh, just hit up uh, one of the city roads. So I'll just go out and have a bit of a look, see if we can find it. A few miles away, one of Dan's colleagues is parked up in an unmarked car when the suspect passes him. As the blue lights go on, the driver races away. This one is like all police chases, really. And he had that one drunk dude who was on every drug. The last one, one, one. Follow from little With the unmarked car in pursuit, Dan rushes towards the chase. Another left, 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 down by the street now. And a blue convertible. Any other ops in the area? Yeah, 4 1. A blue convertible with a roof down. A single male occupant driver. Roof down, nothing to hide from God. Approximately 9 0 and a 3 0. 90? He was acting at speed before I lit it up. He was lit up due to speed. You collide with anything at that speed on those sort of roads and it'd just be complete oblivion. I wouldn't be surprised if you'd go halfway through the building before you come to a stop. Absolutely everything. And it's a total loss. Oh, this is a tight neighborhood too. Look how thin the road is. Hello, Sierra 1 Oscar Fox Front Units to FA1, please. Right, mate, I'll go um, in that way. See if it pops out. Where I first sighted it, mean speed had just been excessive straight away. And hey, what, what is it, please? Is it a Porsche or similar? Yes, Porsche box to convertible in blade. Um, 24. Four and a half litre engine that's probably got. Probably about 400 brake. Is the XS 
acceleration on it was just immense. This vehicle caught people. Control have traced the car to a from. nearby address. It's going to get a rude awakening in there. Thank you. Huh. Local car fails to start. Why would you do that? Drunk, probably. Sit down here, I think. See if it comes past. Is that you, Daddy Vol, then? Yes, mate. Is that you, Jack? Yes, mate. No sign of it. Thanks, mate. He showed no sign of uh, popping up anytime soon. Acceleration was just crazy. Yeah, so I think we've got all the. Yes. Um, the main sort of trunk roads covered, and then um, there's some local cars that are sort of floating in around the area where it was last seen. It looks like uh, the insurance is recently taken out, as in yesterday. Hopefully, we'll be able to find it. If we do find it, and it's the day after you take your insurance out, you decide to go on a high speed chase, you decide to drive your car drunk or whatever state of mind you're in, and then the police get you. Not even a high speed. Well, yeah, he was going 90 and a 30, right? That's high speed. Parked up somewhere, we'll just seize it. When you're driving around the area like that, it's lots of terraced housing and um, tight streets, double parked cars. If, if he's drunk, I'm surprised he's uh, managed to get around him and not hit anything, to be fair. Officers are now approaching the car owner's address. Boarded up, and there it's uh, had a big red key on it. Mm. You figured out why he wouldn't stop for you. Um, there's lots of issue with that address. The police suspect that the man and the house have links to drug offences. And it's also a visual license holder. Here we are then. That would explain the border address. Yeah, driving around, no license. Right, let's go find it. Want to seize it now. Trying to go mobile again, Dan. See if we can find it parked up somewhere and get seized. Traffic cop Jason Potts finds a car matching the description. Nice. The wheels are that hard, you can't touch them. Oh man. Jesus. It's absolutely yeah, yeah. red hot. Mate, it stinks. It does get to smell the brakes, mate. Oh, the Porsche. They're blue. Well, at least we know the work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Scorch out. Yeah. It just smells of brake dust and burn. He is getting low on y'all on that Porsche. So it's obviously been uh, been ragged. And there's no There's no RTC damage. So he's managed to drive it like he stole it without hitting anyone else. So at least no one else is going to be involved in, in this. Nearby, officers spot the suspect. Oh. Hands on the wall now! Hands on the wall! That's behind your back. What's up, man? How, how do they know it's him, though? Ain't the car tinted or it's dark out? Dan's got someone detained who we believe to be the driver. So um, we'll see what uh, what he's got to say. Hello, uh, four eight. We've got male detained returning on four. Right, mate. There's a moment in time you're under arrest on suspicion of dangerous driving and failed to stop the police. What car you got? I've been driving. Right. Yeah. Well, I don't believe you. A car that a car that's linked to you has just failed to stop the police and driven dangerously. I suspect you're the driver. That's why you're under arrest. You had a drink tonight, yes? No. I don't drink, I don't drive. You don't drink, when? you don't drive? <laughs> right, OK. Right. Just record my face. Because you're under arrest, you're going to be searched. No, all right, uh, you, 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 can, it, you can arrest me, yeah. but don't, don't yeah. record my face. You got anything on you? You shouldn't have on you. No, I don't no. have nothing. Right, OK. No, nothing, 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 nothing. Right. Very good. All right. That's a... Uh, satellite phone? Thing what to have. What's that? Are we playing army? But I'm walking you talking? Army with your friends or something? No, there's a normal phone, work phone. Hmm. To my it's work phone? Yeah, to call it car, you know. It's not an Encro phone, is it? I work in insurance company. Special phones. What special phones? I don't know, it looks like a special phone. It looks no, like something I had when I was about 16. It looks like special phones, you know. 
Do we have on Louis Vuitton shoes? Oh, would you Ooh. look at that? On Porsche car key. My key. No, not your key in your pocket. Give it over. I don't drive. One Porsche car key located in the pocket. I don't. I don't drive. Uh, you, know, you can preach all you want, mate. That's I don't fine. drive cars. All right. I think you've been driving a car. Yeah. Therefore, I need you to blow into this. Why? To see if you're drunk. That's the simplest way I can put it with a language barrier. I don't drive like I don't right, right. drive like. I don't need to prove it. I just need to suspect. I suspect you've been driving a motor vehicle. How? I suspect you failed to drop. Uh, failed to stop that motor vehicle, please. Therefore, I yeah, you buddy. In the race, I, in the breath. I also suspect Porsche. Porsche key. That's the second time the driver ain't like stashed the key somewhere or something. Like, be smarter. For analysis. If you, if I don't, if you don't blow into that, you will be arrested. Yeah. Take a nice deep breath. Tube into your mouth and blow. You gonna get arrested blow, anyway? Blow, 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 blow. That's it, Tom. I was thinking about it, so it must be quite a bit. You blame 52, therefore you're further under arrest on suspicion of driving a motor vehicle whilst over the prescribed alcohol limit. Drink driving. All right, you're still under caution. What does that mean? Means you're arrest. Another arrest, yeah. Another arrest. Another yeah, arrest. Yeah, another arrest. Have you been arrested before? I've been, yeah. Yeah, so you know what, what happens then. Right. Oh, yeah, you got the Louis joints on. Let's get put you into the back of this police car here. This on the other side. Oh, yeah. 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 Can you take your arms out? No, that's the idea. Very good. They're not too tight. Sand. And let's take the 4 1. Yeah, we just jack uh, recovery up for this Porsche. Um, car park at the back of the street there, please. We've got the keys. There we go. Uh -huh. And we are in. Oh, oh alarm's going to go off now. Oh no. <laughs> Today. All right, get some paperwork. Now. It's a result. Good result. If you're going to drive like that whilst you're drunk, you know you deserve everything that, that he's, he's going to get. Really, dangerous car off the streets. Uh, dangerous driver off the streets. Dangerous car. It's, there's only just a dangerous driver. That's it. The car is not dangerous. Luckily, is at the time of the night where there's not that many people around. Uh, however, travelling at speeds in excess of 85, 90 miles an hour on these streets. I'm so surprised that we're not having to deal with multiple reports of um, like RTCs where it's crashed into other vehicles, God forbid, colliding with pedestrians that have been out on a Friday night in town, uh, making the way back home. So yeah, it's uh, a good result um, and quite favourable that we're just basically dealing with the traffic offences and not having to deal with something more serious that, that's going to affect people's lives in the future. Coming up. Got away. Oh, I mean, not got away, but got caught. For a old style polo in white, vehicle has just hit the side of a car. Believe me, driver is under the influence. I need a new chair. With eight and a half thousand people killed or seriously injured in drink drive accidents every year. Clamping down on these crimes is a top priority. Say again, Remy, I must have missed that. Uh, what we're going to some codes for. It's a busy night in Ripley, and traffic cop Nick Lovett is on the lookout for trouble. Well, the, were the obs just passed for a white car that's possibly de icing has hit some other cars? Yeah, 24. I've got it, I Street. That's it. Raggedy. Just turning into co op. He's pulling up, mate. He's just coming in off the high street and he's just going through some parking spaces. Ain't that illegal, too? As Nick pulls up, 
colleagues Sergeant Remy Hopkins and PC Mark Scott are quickly on the scene. Hey, up, are you right? Yeah, what's the matter with you? You've been in a car accident? No, put, him out, uh, put, put your hands down. Oh, yeah, he drunk too. When you get drunk to the point where you can't even say one word in a whole sentence clear. Put your hands down. Come out. You want to come no, out? right, put your hands down. Just keep, 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 keep your hands out your pockets. No, 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 keep your hands out your pockets. Stay still. Yeah, of course, well. You say you've been involved in a car accident? Yeah, right. yeah. keep your hands no, away. Keep time. your hands away. Put you can put them in there. Just put them in there. No, put, okay, my hands. Are, no, my hands. no, no. Just put it on your. On no, your... Put my... well, no, I'm not being you do what I tell you. Yeah, do not, do not put your hands well, anywhere well, near well. your pockets. Sorry, mate. Sorry, yeah. Why are you on me? Why are you on? Turn, turn around. He was trying to. He was trying to get rid of that class A that's in there. It's guaranteed there's some class A's in this pocket. Turn around. Yeah, I've got it. Right now we can chat, can't we? How much had to drink? Five parts. Five oh. You can watch from start when the stream is over. What's happening with this RTC? I'll tell you, I'll hit something. I'll be in there, I'll what? This What's is live. Crack? I'll hit something, girl. I've got a neck of you over there. Have you stopped? No, 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 no. Okay, take it on my left. I'm going to hammer it. Boom, I'm going to hammer it. What's happened to your face? What do you mean, face? Face is all blood, right? No, no, my hand cut. Can I shave my hand? Can I shave my hand? Face is your face. What's happened? It's on your hands. My initial thoughts are that he probably smacked his head on the steering wheel or on, on the uh, windscreen. Uh, as a result of I think these streams stay up for I'm not sure um forever maybe I think they're always up there I don't know Even in that collision why are you bleeding then come wipe my hand no mate no. we'll get you some why you, you got all blood in your mouth come my face are cut my hand are cut blood right we're not getting anywhere are we is this your motor custom yeah. yeah can you arrange recovery please for this vehicle uh it's got part of the wing uh peeled back uh, the offside wing, which will make it dangerous, uh, and the uh, driver's door can't be opened and shut properly. You could list the defects as long as you're on. Oh, mate, yeah. at this moment in time, at quarter past seven, you're under arrest, that, mate. That perfect okay, time, yeah. and suspicious of being unfit through drink or drugs. Yeah, perfect. Time, all right, yeah. while driving a motor. That perfect time. Mate. All right, because yeah, you're being all right. Yeah. I'm going to put the cuffs to the front. Can have a wee? Hey, yeah. can you have a wee? Yeah. No. Where are you going to have a wig that makes it decent? You're right, just watch these. You can see him, Mark. Yeah, I see it's all right. No, 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 no. Just. All right. All right, all right. All right. All right. I'm not, I'm not being hard, mate. It's only really. No, no. Well, it's when people what is start he saying? Making, yeah, I'm not being making that, moves. What do you mean, sir? I'm not being aggressive. Make, no, I'm not saying you've been aggressive. But well, we just need your hands to go where we want them but to go. Fine, I'm not, not where you want them to go, that's all. No, fine, mate. And sometimes that differs from two. No, fine, mate. All right. Now, let's have a look at your hand now. Yeah, I think uh, you see oh, it. Yeah. You can see, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. I thought you smashed all your face in when you got no, out. No, 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 no. The no, lad's covered no, in blood no, no. Uh, all through his mouth, which I thought was going to be from the collision. Uh, but it turns out he's cut his finger, and then he's been wiping, uh, wiping his finger all right around his face, which has caused all the blood transfer. So injuries aren't as aren't as severe as what I thought when I got out of the car. Uh, but as we've seen, the car is in a horrifically um, poor state. Yeah, uh, to the point where it makes it really, really dangerous to be on the road. The car raggedy before it got into any accidents. It's just, it's, it's terrible. All right, don't touch anything, mate. No, yeah? course not. No, I'll come out. You've got a blood on your face. He's now intoxicated. He negates the necessity for a breath test at the scene, arrest him, and get him back to the police station as quickly as possible. Is this your beauty? It's a beauty, isn't it? Oh, my God. It's, good in there, it's seen better days, hasn't it? It's, it's seen, seen better, better days. days. Yeah. Did we find it like at the bottom of the trench? Or something? Or That's where it belongs, I think. The problem is, I don't want to leave it here because if he's not, if he's not unfit, he's going to come back and he's going to take it. So I'm going to recover it for the purpose of a vehicle exam. Given the fact that it's got horrifically dangerous oh, yeah. edges, that will literally rip somebody to pieces yeah. no nah, for sure if you leave that there and somebody's walking fast and not paying attention you could definitely grab their leg or something front near sides bull tire and if you look <laughs> look at how far the rear wheels extend outside the wheel arches that's a failed MOT that's right? a naughty one and the door doesn't shut so there's no jeeps out there like the vehicle like jeep like off-road jeeps off-road trucks because those extend outside the tire well naturally jeeps which i'm assuming is because of the collapsed wing 
Yeah, that's not good. Would you like to shut your door? No. The lad's off to custody to see if he actually is unfit to drink or drugs. Given the fact there's a, a beer can in the back, I would say he's more likely to be under the influence of uh, drink uh, rather than drugs, but, or it could be a mixture of both. We won't know until uh, any blood tests come back or... Uh, or they didn't even search him. Test. Yeah, it's a good result in the end of the day. And we've got some uh, details for the person that's been, that's been hit. So they'll be pleased. Oh, so he had it's insurance? Peter from Derbyshire's uh, Road Crime Unit at Ripley. You were the driver of your motor when it got hit by an old-fashioned polo. We've got, we've got the vehicle, drives under arrest, and he's now en route to Ripley. It, it's quite satisfying to be able to ring someone and say, we've actually got this car, you've reported it, and within five to ten minutes later, we've now stopped the vehicle, we've dealt with the driver, and we've acted on what they've reported. Yeah, you're not hurt, are you? Right, you're all right, though. I would have been hurt sending an ambulance. Has the, has the vehicle had to be recovered or could you get it home? You've got it home. Right. But well, the good news is we've got him. Take care. Bye bye. He got insurance, right? I don't know. I don't know if they said if he had insurance or not. From the drunk or drugged to thieves on the run. Around 10,000 runaway drivers fail to stop for police every year across the UK fail thieves on the run around 10,000 runaway drivers fail to stop for police 10, every year across the UK people don't want to be responsible for what they've done and if there's a chance of getting away they'll try and take it it is one of the major issues that we face on the road and the carnage that they can cause is immense and it shouldn't be happening if a stolen car is in the hands of a criminal, there is no doubt that vehicle will fail to stop. That fight or flight, they will drive as quickly as they can and recklessly as they can to evade police capture. And if we catch them, they're going to fight as hard as they can so that we don't detain them. So for us, it really is a high risk time. In this episode... It's quite distinct, isn't it? Yeah. The man caught on CCTV after a car accident who said he wasn't driving. So you've not been in a car at all? Never. Pleaded guilty to failing to provide a drink drive test. He was banned from driving for 28 months, Damn. fined, and must carry out 120 hours of unpaid work. It's not bad. I've got it, High Street. The England fan arrested by Nick Lovett. <laughs> Well, no, not you time. do what I tell you. Yes, do not, do not put your hands anywhere near your pockets. Pleaded guilty to drink driving, and has been disqualified for 18 months and fined 300 pounds. Hands on the wall now! Hands Light. on the wall! The man arrested after a Porsche failed to stop at 90 miles an hour along Derby's back streets. What car you got? I don't drive car. Right. Yeah, well, I don't believe it. Was charged with drink driving. Failed to stop, driving without due care and attention, and no licence. Oh, would you look at that. One Porsche car key. He has pleaded not guilty to all charges and is awaiting trial. That has quite full. We've got a heat source right at the edge of the water. And the runaway driver who nearly drowned. Vomiting water up now, uh, um, so we'll all need that ambulance. Was charged with burglary, theft of a motor vehicle, dangerous driving, Driving whilst disqualified, no yeah. insurance, and breach of bail. One stolen car, no damage to our cars, and one locked up. He's due to appear at court. He definitely going to jail. Man, he gonna get on the wing. They gonna be like, "How you get caught?" Man, I took him on a high speed chase, and they had to save my damn life. I almost drowned trying to get. Hell <laughs> nah. TLO, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your post. If you're not subbed up, man, subscribe. I'm gone.